Welcome everybody and to um, a run through of Astroneer. <clears throat> this is not my first time recording to YouTube, but it is my first time in quite a long time. So forgive me if you hear any odd pops and cracks on the microphone. I haven't done this for a while. I'm going to be starting a new adventure game. We can see all the planets there floating in the sky. Quite close to some mountains. Let's see a few other landing pods in the distance. <coughs> okay, we've got a shelter, we've got a landing pad, not much else. We've arrived! First job is to pop in our oxygenator on the shelter. And that will give us oxygen. We're also going to connect up the printer. That will give us some tethers. Put those in our backpack. We need to connect a tether to the base. Now I have a soil canister. Okay. What else do we need to do? Resource, gather compound, gather resin. Also fill the container with soil. I see some compound right over there. Let's get to it. That's the compound. Can I get this? Not oh, letting me research it. Okay, do I see any other stuff? Oh! Well, there's a freebie right over there. I'm looking for some compound. I haven't seen any yet. Okay, there's a bit of a hill there. And there's... a free windmill. Also, a free battery. Let's have these things. That'll help us a little bit with our early power supply. I haven't even got anything to plug it into yet. Let's pop that down there. Also the battery. I don't need that just yet. And let's find some compound. Sorry, not compound. We have compound. Let's find some resin. Anything useful on here? Yes. A free windmill. We'll have that. Oh, there's some copper. Excellent. I'll leave that for a little bit. But I will need it soon. Okay. Is that another free windmill? Good grief. With these windmills you are spoiling us, Mr. Ambassador. We'll have that. Oh, I see a backpack over here. And backpacks often have lights on them. Let's see what we've got. Oh, we got a, a kind of a light. We've also got a little squeaker horn. And a curious item. For some reason I dropped those on the floor rather than onto my backpack. Okay, let's try the other way around. Curious item. Squeaker horn. Curious item. Squeaker horn. Okay. And 
medium wind turbine. I never build these things, but I'm happy to take them when I find them, or almost never build them. I'm going to have to remember to keep an eye on oxygen because I'm not used to playing without it. Okay. That sound is the sound of our oxygen refilling. I'll quickly do a foray over this direction. See if I can see some resin. Oh, I see the resin. There it is. <coughs> Let's pick up some resin. Maybe drop one. Uh, I'm going to drop the horn for now, I can have that later. Okay, run back to base before I run out of oxygen. Okay, we should have completed sourcing and we need to print a medium printer we've got some storage and a platform this is sometimes a bit awkward so let's just connect that power supply Medium printer. We'll open this other platform. Stick up. Oh, actually, you know what we need to put on there is the medium printer. Okay. Another job complete. Now we get a large platform. I'm going to put that over this side. And stick my windmills on it. Also, that battery can go in here as well. So, We've got a bit of power, we've got a couple of printers, we've got a little bit of storage. What was this? Another small, well, they call it a medium platform, but it's very, very small. Put that one over there. Put that storage on there. What else do we have to do? We have to print a smelter. And we have to fill our soil. We've got to connect a small generator, small generator power network. That will give us a battery, and we need to use a research chamber. Okay. Small generator, that one. It's already running, but it's running on my back. I kind of wish they didn't do that when these first arrived because you don't really want them running the first time you switch them on. However, that one's complete. We've also fully charged a battery. It's also complete. <coughs> okay, so we can pop that battery on there. That'll start charging from the windmills. Still fill this canister and then print the furnace. Research a furnace. There's a furnace. Mm. 
how much soil? I haven't got too much soil left to go, so let's finish this soil. There we go, the canister's now full. Just some research bites. Unlock, print and attach boost mod. Unlock, lock, print and attach drill mod. And that will give us a soil centrifuge, which is incredibly useful. Okay, so... Boost mod. Ooh, plus a thousand. And... Drill mod. Another thousand. We don't have two thousand yet. So we're going to have to do a couple of other jobs in the meantime. This can go onto this platform, or we can print up a different platform for it. Let's get a bit more... I've only got a couple of tethers left, but I can make some more if I get some more of this compound. There was compound over this direction. Okay, we've got plenty of compound to make tethers. Research that. <coughs> we've done the battery. Okay. Lights in the distance. Discover a gateway chamber. Do I see? I don't see a gateway chamber in an awfully long way. Oh, it's behind that hill. Okay. So, refine aluminum, aluminium from laterite. Print the mods. That's going to cost points. Print and use a research chamber. So we need to open unlock a research chamber oh it's down here oh no we don't need to unlock it it's already unlocked we just need to make one compound and resin i think i need to go and get that uh go and need to pick up that resin Where did we see it? I'm just going to keep researching stuff as I find it. That thing might be useful. I'm going to print some more tethers. There's the resin. All right. space have we got? None at all. Okay. So we want to print... We do, we've got one of those, we want one of these. While that's printing, I'm going to run over and grab that item we saw. There's 
There's one right here. I can have that to research. That wants, I think, laterite. There's another research item there, but I can only carry one at a time. Okay, it's time to start getting organized because before too long everything's going to be a mess. So my plan is power is going to be running off this direction. Power based items. Manufacturing that's printing things I can have off this direction. For now at least. Have I got enough resin to print another? Yes, I do. Another love platform B. And then I can put the research chamber on it. I'll put that next to the printer for now. So, we have large platform B. This thing is, for much of the game, about the most useful thing you can print to put things on. And that small storage, that sorry, medium storage, is also an incredibly useful thing. It costs two resin, not a lot, incredibly useful. I'm going to grab some more resin because I want even more of those bases, those platforms. Here we are. I'm going to put. I should have taken these things off my backpack earlier because they weren't really necessary. And they just took up space that I needed for other purposes. So empty my backpack of that junk. Let's do some more vacuuming. At least the one resin patch we found is a reasonably good sized one. I'm going to lose my squeaker horn. I have been deleting those or destroying them, but um, you can't make them yourself, those little squeaky walls, so it's probably worth hanging on to them if you want one. Although you will find them all over the place on backpacks. What are we doing? I you know what I could also do is print myself another small canister to put soil in, because all this soil that I'm burning up is a resource. Soil is the most abundant and almost the most useful resource in the game. If you're wondering why it's abundant, I'm standing on it. And if you're wondering why it's the most useful, wait until we get the soil centrifuge up and running. So I think I'm getting close to not having it. Whoop! Whoops! Oops, I totally forget about oxygen because I'm just so not used to not having oxygen available. Right, we didn't get a lot out of that, we only got two. Um, okay, let's grab our storage. Or oh, let's grab the uh, squeaker horn while we're here as well. And we'll head back to base. Okay, we have a base on which we can put the research station. Let's uh, get that up and running. have to start it up the first time we use it so there we go 450 bytes from that thing 
Make sure that we've completed a mission. Couple of beacons. Not so useful at the moment, but useful later on. Okay. How are we doing for bites? 1500. Still not asked to do the research of the um, the drill bits, but we can go underground. Before I do that, I'm going to gather my tethers because I can reuse these. Now, sometimes you get lucky and oh, I started picking things up there, I didn't want to do that. Didn't oh I can put that on the uh, power. So let's put the windmill on the power generation. I don't really need any of those other things. I could use the light on my shoulder. It's not the best. I prefer a work light, but it's better than nothing. And I'll get rid of those. So I need to get that furnace. No, I need to do the retooling. Uh, attach a boost mod to my terrain tool. And a boost mod requires zinc and I don't have any zinc and then the drill mod requires ceramic and I don't have any ceramic okay quick look around see sometimes you're lucky and find a hole in the ground to start you digging but I'm not seeing one near my base not one that's really convenient so I'm just going to start my own dig and work it from there so let's pop down to tether and start digging. And a nice easy way to do this is make it flat. Just don't go too fast because you'll get ahead of your tethers. Another way to do it is just do it as a, a tube-shaped tunnel without a flat bottom. But I'm going to put the flat bottom in because I'm probably going to use this again with a vehicle. How am I doing for tethers? Okay. Wow. That went behind me. Looks like I've broken through into a cavern. Tether. Tether too far away to see where I'm going. Ooh. Bit of a jump down there. So we'll keep going with the the slope. That wasn't what I wanted to do. hit the bottom I think I just heard yeah. the noise okay so I'm looking around for aluminum I think I see some in the distance over there anything over that way no I need to go this way There's a glowing thing over there that I want to stay away from. Okay. Just 
ease forward. And when the light goes out, we can... That, by the way, is another research item we can use. In fact, let's just take that back right now and pop it in the research station. Walk very slowly when you're carrying items like this. It will improve later on. <coughs> okay, up in the plains. So that's researching away on that item. When that's done, that other one will pop in. And if I remember, oh, I, because I took the tethers away, don't mind. Let's head down again. And there is some laterite. These things are called pop corals. And they're not dangerous unless you uproot them. When you uproot them, they explode. So you don't want to be next to one when you do that. I see yet another research item. So I'm going to pop that down here. I remember to pick it up on my way back when I can. And you know what I should have done was perhaps bring that to medium storage item. Okay. We've got some laterite there. We've got some laterite there. Let's get lap writing. Keep an eye on our oxygen. So, boost mod and terrain tool give me a soil centrifuge. Okay, that's okay. What am I doing? I am full. If I switch this to tethers, that takes an item into the printer gives me one more slot. There we go. Oh, I even dropped one. I can't carry that very conveniently. What I can carry is this big rock. And back up the slope. These tethers have I think they're Christmas lights. Unfortunately, you can't pick the colours, but they're quite pretty. Okay, and we'll just pop this one down here. What I'd really like to find is. Oh, did I? Okay. Is some sphalerite, which is down in the caves. That will make zinc, and that will make my boost mod. And I'd also like to find some clay which I can make into ceramic and the ceramic will make that drill mod there most basic of the drill mods however clay is remarkably difficult to find so what I'll do instead well this is where I'm kind of hitting a okay I can print up another uh, medium platform. So let's do that. Oops. Why is it telling me not? I want to get onto the printer. Large platform B. That's what I wanted. Okay. Let's print one of those. I would do for bites. I'm getting there with the bites. So we can unlock the boost mod and the drill mod ready for retooling. All we need now is the tools, the actual materials to do that with. 
quick look around, do I see any clay? Clay is one of those remarkably difficult to find resources considering that it ought to be everywhere. I'm not seeing any. Right, this is going to be in this direction is going to be our production of materials, production resources. It's running slow because there's no wind to blow our windmills right now. We didn't get any solar panels, so we're just relying on wind power. We do have Let's just switch on our um, generator since we have one. Oh, did I miss it again? Let's turn that on. There we go. That'll help a little bit with the speed. It'll also store any excess if there were any excess in the batteries. There isn't any excess. Okay. We have a table. That generator is putting a bit of power into the batteries. And we can pop this down right here. Leave a little bit of space so we can walk between the platform and the building. Unzip that. And we can start smelting. Okay, not ideal, but better than nothing. That's our first bit of smelterly hotness. We'll pop this on here, and that can take the output. Now, I saw a new mission pop up. We've done smelterly hot, we get another storage. Moving and hauling print a tractor and gather samples. Okay. So, print a tractor. Tractor is going to be down here. There's the tractor. It costs a thousand to research though. Shouldn't have bothered with those mods, should I? Okay, well, this is working away. Not much left on there. That one's going to have about 500 on it. When they're both done, we'll have that thousand bytes. In the meantime, let's go and grab ourselves some more materials. Maybe we can uh, find some quartz or something useful down in the caves. something nasty. Anything useful over here? I don't like that uh, that plant over there. Not much in this direction. I'm going to see if I can take him out. There we go. So he's not going to be a danger to us anymore. And we get a couple of bits and pieces. Here's a research item. Let's grab that. Awfully dark. See these floodlights, they might light up the ceiling but they don't light up me, which is what I want. Let's get back to the tethers. that bing bong noise that means a bit of research just finished and if that one's just finished it means this one's just started and that was a little bit more than the thing we found on the surface still not a thousand bytes though so I'm 
grabbed a couple of seeds here. I'm going to pop those on the ground. They're going to come in handy later. Now, when I started, I thought I saw... Okay, it is counting those. <coughs> Do a quick run over this direction. Watching my oxygen. There's a bit more resin here. I'm going to have that. Is that it? it? Says there's more. There's a bit more. Wow, one piece. Two. Watching my oxygen. I don't like getting too close to the end of the bar. I got another storage out of that, so let's pop this storage down. Put our resin on it. Okay, research going away. Let's go down the mines. Something of this something making a noise. Look underneath here. Something, something, something is squirting at me but not getting me. Look over this way. Oh, some more research items. And have that. Nothing useful over there. There's a research item. We'll grab that. And again, finding our way in the dark. Well, I, you know what? This uh, floodlight thing I've got on my shoulder is useless. It's not lighting anything up. We're going to need to find something a bit better. Oh, daylight. That's better. Okay, we can pop this down. That's going to get us plenty. We still need a thousand, so we've just got to wait a minute or two for that tractor to be able to be printed. Anything I can do in the meantime? Yes, I can. Well, if I move the printer, that's going to disconnect, isn't it? So... This uh, floodlight is so useless, I'm not even going to bother carrying it anymore. It might work as a headlight on a vehicle, but it isn't working to help me see things in the dark. Now, I checked out... Oh, yeah, I've got it melted on my aluminum now. If I go back down while I'm waiting, here we go. Get a bit more laterite. At least the tethers leave a bit of light for me. Okay, yeah, I forgot about that piece. Okay. Not connected. That's more laterite. Oh, that's terrible. Six. Ah, oh, aha, aha. Okay, two or three useful things here. So that is laterite, and that on the right is zinc. This is a backpack, and this is what I've been looking for for a proper light, a work light. I'll have his canister, I'll have his tethers, I'll have his dynamite. The oxygen filters can be useful in emergencies, as can the power cells. Goodness, this poor chap. I wonder what killed him. 
Okay. So that's quite a lot of things. Now, that is an exodynamics research pod. It requires refilling the internal power supply. To do that, I need something I can plug into that power cord, and I don't have anything to do that. I'm not going to get the uh, this zinc. I don't want to mine it yet because I'm going to need it later for something. But I'll grab some more laterite while I'm here because that is going to be useful. It didn't look like there was a lot of zinc there. Oh, of course I forgot. I filled up my backpack with junk, so I haven't got a lot of room for anything. Well. Once again, I'm going to be leaving these laterite on the ground. I think those grew back. Oh, uh, can I complete something? Yes. Good. Oops. So you see the difference with the work light? Much brighter. the area I'm stepping on. Okay. How many bytes have we got? Nearly 2,000. Let's go back up and print that tractor. Okay, I've got various bits of junk, or semi-junk I don't really need right this minute. That I was going to use over there, but I don't need to go on foot because I'm going to bring a tractor. And that's completed, which means I can now also get a free trailer for it. Now, let's set this up, and I think I might have to call that at the end of the first episode. So, we have a vehicle. Only the small vehicle. Here we go. But, we have got mobile oxygen now. And I'm going to put this little windmill on the front to charge it up. So at the moment the battery is dead. Typical second hand vehicle. Okay. I just made a mess of that. Ugh. How did I manage to drop the windmill under the tractor? Okay. No panic, I've got one of these. hop into the tractor. Oh, come on, guys. There we go. Okay. Right. And... Did I see something else complete? No, that was it so far. Let's see what a trailer costs to print, because I'm pretty sure I've got the materials for it. Compound... Yes. Aluminum, yes. Let's move it a little bit. 
way. Oh, I see some compound over there. Have some more of this. Okay. Oop. Research item. Okay. So a vehicle can carry three trailers. Or pull three trailers, I should say. So one, two, three. Now we've got mobility. And we've got oxygen at a distance. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. So, I'm going to call that a day. Just hit the 46 minute mark. And next episode, I'm going to take my tractor and trailer out and do a bit of exploration. I will see you guys in the next episode.